together four 340 mm extrusions, two upper left and right bottom vertices, and assemble them as shown with the necessary M5 screws and washers. You will need one T-slot nut in the outer slot of the aluminum extrusion for this step. Keep in mind to lightly hand tighten all screws in this video. In the next tutorial, we'll cover calibrating the frame, which will cover tightening all screws in the mid and upper frame in a procedural and systematic manner. Once you've assembled the extrusions to all four upper bottom vertices, mount one of the assemblies to the base of the frame with one M5 10mm FHS and one M5 10mm SHCS with an M5 washer. Now screw the four self-tapping blind joint screws into the top of the 340mm extrusions. Use a T20 Torx key to tighten them until the top rail extrusions barely slide over them. Before you slide the top extrusions on, however, trap two T-slot nuts into the front slot of each mounted assembly. Carefully slide the two remaining 420mm extrusions with the drilled access holes into position over the blind joint screws. Trap four T-slot nuts into the front and rear slots of the 420mm extrusions and two T-slot nuts into the top slots. If using a top-mounted spool holder, trap an additional two T-slot nuts into the top slots. Gather the top vertices for the 10mm rods. You will install these on the 420mm extrusions using four M5 10mm SHCS and four M5 washers. Remember not to tighten anything in the frame yet. Now gather the four top corner vertices and mount them to the corners of the upper frame using 8 M5 10mm SHCS and 8 M5 washers. Square the bottom assemblies to the base of the frame and tighten the FHS and SHCS to the base.